distance of over 30 yards. And they only had 10 of those all of last year. And they're throwing here on third and 11. Tuioti on the run. It's complete into the hands of Delane Hart Johnson. And he is pushed out right around the line to gain. It will be a first down. They've been good against the run so far, but struggling a bit here against the pass. Another completion. And this time it's the first catch of the day for Ansel Amume and Caesar Williams with the stop. Arizona under Rich Rodriguez is calling the shots now. And they have the first down. They needed one. They got two. Tyrone Owens with a carry. But he is back and ready to go. Tuioti on the run. Low throw. Trying to scoop it off the turf. Ume. And they will say he caught it. Field, it's a completed pass. First down. To be against the scout team. Second down at seven. Tyrone Owens been impressed with the playmakers that they have on the offensive side of the football. There's that triple option, first down. A little bit of a risky pitch, but it was caught by Schuler, and he takes it forward for six yards. And that makes it very tough for this Wisconsin defense to prepare this week. That's what Jim Leonard was telling us. This time they try to go around the edge. With This is what New Mexico wants. Here's the triple option again. This time it's Vigilant with his first carry, and Davon Vigilant, just a red shirt freshman, taking it down around the 10 yard line. Stand tall. Their red zone D, one of the tops of the country a season ago, but this time it's caught for a touchdown. Delane Hart Johnson, the big play receiver for the Lobos, finds the end zone, and it's 6 0. They did right there, a 17-play drive. Hart Johnson to the end zone, Lobos up early. Wisconsin's first test on third and six. Horny Brook. One-handed catch, A.J. Taylor, what a grab! Kansas City. Yeah, Rockhurst High School down in Kansas City, and he's getting a lot more playing time because of the suspension of some other wide receivers, but what a tremendous play, and they really needed that. Couldn't convert that. But instead, the drive continues, and Taylor dragging his way across the 50. IGN good. A lot of people think they are indeed the best offensive line, not only in this conference, but in this country. And here the surge is enough for a Taylor first down, a gain of eight. With Van Landon at left tackle. In fact, he played a majority of the game against Western Kentucky. And when you got Taylor running behind the line, that helps as well. The deal returning last week after the injury. And this time it's deal again. He said last week, because he had to miss the previous year with the ACL tear, it felt so good to be back on the field. That ground game seems to be working pretty well. And they're going to stick with it. Big hole. Taylor down inside the 15. Right back to it. And he keeps those legs churning to the eight. Five. Let's see if they do go tight end. Over the middle, not the tight end, incomplete. Well, they try to go back to that man, A.J. Taylor. But that brings up fourth down. And Wisconsin will have to settle for a field. F.I.L. Gaglianoni, he's three field goals shy from tying the all-time Wisconsin record. And now he's two away. That's his 63rd career field goal make. He carries. Second fastest Badger to 2,000 yards. Did it in 15 games. That New Mexico defense tackled by Barnwell. For more on Kevin Cosgrove and that defense, let's go down to Elise. Coach Cosgrove, you said, you know, the offense looks pretty similar. There's a big hole. Down inside the 20 on the carry for Alec Engel, the fullback. Goal line. Not that time, 39 yards, and now they go back to Taiwan Deal. Big, powerful fifth-year senior feeling healthy. The big hole. Taylor down to the four. The back in I formation. Leading the way for Taylor. Oh, he fumbled it. And New Mexico has it. And Jonathan Taylor's fumble woes continue. Great speed. 
He will hand it off. Not a lot of space there for Elijah Lilly. They love the speed of Lilly. They want to get him the ball in interesting ways, but they don't like three-yard losses. Uh, they've got Trey Hall as the emergency backup, a true freshman. But right now, it's Sharon Jones, and oh, the snap surprised him. And he went right down to the ground. So what a twist in the plot here for the New Mexico Lobos. An eight-yard loss. And Dyer boots it to Jack Dunn. And Wisconsin's going to start in plus territory. It's Taiwan Deal getting the carry. They sat him on the bench for a while. Back to Taiwan Deal for the first down. Tight formation running all the way between the tackles. Third straight carry for the fifth-year senior Taiwan Deal, tackled by City Vinny Timai Vena. Last touch, he fumbled it. And he holds on to the football here. They need. Big fullback Alec Ingold in there, and they give it to him. So he had the 39-yard run earlier, and this time he gets two and moves the sticks. There are a lot of space over there. Surge forward. I don't think Hornybrook's going to be throwing the ball much at this rate. Third red zone trip for Wisconsin. Around the edge, Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown, Wisconsin. It was a 28-yard reception for the junior Taylor, and here it's good for 21. Stay upright and go the rest of the way. Jonathan Taylor out to midfield, doing what he does best. He's up over 100 yards at 109 to be precise. Wisconsin 11-0 in the previous 11 that he's above the century mark. It Wisconsin Oshkosh did Kevin Cosgrove. Here comes pressure. Hornybrook steps up and it's intercepted off the deflection. Elba Toey returns it off the pick for New Mexico down around the 25 yard line. And Bob Davies' life, Bob Davies' group has life. That's the second Wisconsin miscue today. Down. Pressure up the middle. Intercepted. Scott Nelson. Returns it near the 24, the red shirt freshman from Detroit. The first pick of his young career, and it's a big one. A lot of times after a turnover, someone goes for the home run. Instead, they'll go right up the middle with Jonathan Taylor. Well, they were looking for the home run, and they just <laughs> gave it to Jonathan Taylor. One more time. Jonathan Taylor, look out! Dragged down from behind. Well, before that run, he had not had one all day of over 16 yards, but that was for 43. The last two runs, I mean, obviously he's a great back, but, you know, you just watch him in here. If you give him a, a little alley to get through with fine offensive blocking by the line, he's going to find it. And I'm surprised they caught him from behind here. I was, too. Credit to D'Angelo Ross. Yeah, he was a sprint champ in New Jersey, so... Maybe some movement. Flag does come in. It's still going to be a play of positive yardage for Jonathan Taylor. Hornybrook. Plenty of time. Caught. Touchdown. A.J. Taylor. First of the season, sixth of the career. No relation. Yeah, they were my impact players. I had trouble getting their names out, Taylor and Taylor, but they've been the impact players. Have they ever? 17 to 7. Even with the suspension. So now back to Sharon Jones in the struggling New Mexico offense. One of the best in the country, there's no question about it. 
Corey Davis, first carry for him in this game. Junior from Oakland, California. He'll get three yards to bring up. Third down on a gorgeous. Anytime the center goes under, quarterback goes under center, they try to sneak, but that's not going to work. Oh, it's not going to work at all. They went back a yard there. And that means that on their last six drives, they are 0 for 6 on third down. The fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Wisconsin. And here they lost the football, and Wisconsin and Jim Leonard's defense picks it up. Seven years now under Bob Davey on third down. Pass is caught but short. First catch by Jake Ferguson. That's the tight end you were talking about. A gain of four. Now what do you do here? Looks like four. The fullback Ingold in there, and they give it to him. So Alec Ingold, who had the long run earlier at 39 yards, has also rushed for a couple more first downs. A little reverse here. Aaron Crookshank. There's the freshman. Oh, he gets hit hard around the 10-yard line. Boy, did he ever. Back to Jonathan Taylor, and he gets it to the five. Fumbled early inside the five, but 291 rushing yards for Wisconsin. Back to the ground. Taylor, he's in again. Of five yards or more in this game for Taylor. And here's another one. Taylor out to the 48. Fourth career game to top that mark. And this time off play action, Hornybrook has all day. Going for Taylor, and he's got him. The Taylor Taylor connection continues. It's either Taylor on the ground or Taylor through the air. 315 yards, and now they're looking for more, and they've got more. Big line trying to push Jonathan Taylor across the goal line. He won't quite get there. He stopped at the one. His Thank you. The fourth quarter starts with an easy touchdown run for Alec Ingold. The fullback, 15th touchdown of his career for the senior. 31 to 7. They may have been nervous early. They're not nervous anymore. The number five team in the country rolling. Sharon Jones will give to Tyrone Owens. Conference scheduled this year. That last run by New Mexico got them their first first down of the second half, and now they have back-to-back -back first downs. Dakota Dixon wrapping up the receiver on that last play, Jake Griffin. Sharon Jones, 5 of 10, throwing the ball. And now he's 6 of 11. Delane Hart-Johnson, who has the only touchdown for New Mexico in the game with his third catch. Prognosticators didn't pick them to do a whole lot this year. They started off good here today, but they've struggled since. Greens, and no problem here in Madison for the fifth-ranked Badgers. Well, there's a little trouble on this carry. Tyrone Owens taking it down deep into Badger territory. Only the 17th Lobo to do that in their history. They go right back to their favorite back, the red shirt senior from Texas. Owens hit hard and dragged down Songapolu, among others. Third and two, rolling right. Jones has it complete for the touchdown. Elijah Lilly, the junior. 103 for AJ, and they've combined for three touchdowns. Yeah, pretty impressive. It's, uh, you know, they've got a lot of weapons. But they've really just needed the tight ends to block in this game. Nine yards on the ground there for Jonathan Taylor as his big day continues. Rear. Of course, this is only the 16th game of the sophomore's career, and here we go again. Out to midfield. Bob Davies thinking, why don't you take him out? <laughs> Play action. Horny Brook throws a dart in the direction of A.J. Taylor. Well, this is not Jonathan Taylor. This is Taiwan Deal. Taiwan Deal diving. 
There's a flag also on the play back near the line of scrimmage. Holding. Offense, number 79. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot remains first down. 20 now. It's still Taiwan Deal to back. And Taiwan Deal in the red zone. Down to the 14-yard line for the fifth-year senior. and pound that has been the recipe for success Stanley Barnwell with a tackle but Taiwan deal right around the line to gain at the nine on first and goal Taylor halfway home so that ties a career high 249 yards on the ground now and some extra meat in the backfield Pushing forward, and he has the hat trick. Three touchdowns for Jonathan Taylor, and a new career high as he's over 250 yards rushing. Intercepted. What a great pick by Madison Cove. The sophomore with the first interception of his career teams that you look at there's four of those programs have 10 or more wins in the last four seasons Wisconsin being one of them cone 31 just had that interception showing the sideline view right now huh. turf monster got him there four yards 134 total and that touchdown and Garrett Groshek will get the ball IU in week three uh, just say yes. Say yes. Inside the 10 goes Chris James. You're more of an Eagles guy. I'm Johnson in this game. Most for the Badgers since 2014, and they're going to add a couple more onto that as Mason Stocky, the converted linebacker, gets another carry. Men, Vanden Boom and Mustafa, who gets to keep the football? But it's the first for both. Paul Chris. Paul Chris. Yeah. Wisconsin, they have scored on five straight drives. As Paul Chris trots out to shake hands with Bob Davey.